had a job interview at, in corporate America for an office job. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to this, but like, I love being interviewed in corporate America because I just feel so interesting, you know? Like, you know, you get on your like silky polyester and they bring you a little, little cup of water and you just sit there and I feel like I'm on a Barbara Walters special, you know? I'm just like, oh, okay. And I prep for this, so we're talking and, and the lady said, um, oh, Allison, it's really great to meet you, so let's hear about your, your uh, two-year plan. And I did my research, I know they like, certain buzzwords like team building and data and all that stuff, right? So I was ready for it and I was like, well, well, Cheryl, I see myself growing with the growingness, with the growth of the company in the growing years. I was like, yeah, baby, marinate on that, yeah, right? So she's like busy writing all that down, you know, and I'm super interesting still. And then she says, very, very interesting, very interesting. So tell me, Allison, where do you see yourself in five years from now? And I'm like, damn, I just shot my wad on the two-year answer. I, you got me, you know, like, I don't know, right? Worst case scenario, I get the job, right? I get the job. I have no business working in an office, like none. Like I look at like postums and white out like art supplies. Like I'm like, oh, this is so fun. I, honestly, like when I see fax machines, my mind is still blown how that works. You know what I mean? Like you mean to tell me you put paper in it and like through a telephone wire? I get, like that's crazy to me. I really. <laughs> I constantly felt like the people who came and got ET were gonna come get me. Like I was like, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some people in white suits coming in any minute now. Don't go wrong here. So, anyways, like we would have these like move uh, meetings, and they they were like bright and early every morning, and they'd be like. Okay, today is the last day, you guys. Today's it. We're gonna do it. Make this day count, you know. And the whole time you're sitting there like. It's Tuesday, Jim, relax, you know what I mean? Like, am I on the set of Top Gun or is this apocalypse, you know? <laughs> the problem was is that like, honestly, like I'm 100% okay with failure. Like I really, <laughs> it's okay with me. So there is a little problem there. I don't know uh, if I've ever seen anything sadder though, to be honest with, uh, in this job, like every Friday there was like the promise of Jeans Day. Like on Thursdays, if we got all of our work done, there's nothing more pathetic than grown folks scrambling to wear their own jeans the next day. <laughs> like people would come by my, my cubicle and like be like, come on, Lieber, let's see some hustle. Jeans days tomorrow. And I'm like, they're not buying us jeans, moron. We have, we already, we're wearing our own. It's not that, it's not that exciting.